hey youtube welcome back to my channel um today we're going to be doing a day in the life video so here is my morning routine do not forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel so this is me doing my skincare routine if you'd like a full detailed video about that i would gladly do that this is my breakfast i usually eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with orange juice and i know i can't be the only person who dances while i eat hey everybody welcome back to doctors tv with kendria today we're going to be doing a day in the life of a lab assistant i work as a lab assistant at a genetics research lab here in baton rouge at pennington biomedical resource center what we focus on is genomic sequencing we're able to tell if a patient has genes that is more susceptible to replicating and causing cancers in the future so This thing is so annoying. So what I did just now, I turned the Kai Symphony machine. So this is where the samples go. And I'll show you guys later the samples. Um, not too much because they have the HI on them. But this is where the reagents go that break down the DNA. Assist the DNA to make them able uh, easier to read. It goes from the samples and the reagents uh, add onto it. From, and they shake them up over there. It takes all the DNA from the samples from like 40 samples at a time probably more than that really and it puts it on like one small plate this is the little tiny plate that i told you guys that um the samples dna go on I think that's what the kai run does it takes the dna and the, uh, the specimen liquid puts reagent in it for the beads to be able to dye the dna it's the finished product from this one machine so we go from like a whole box of samples to this and then it goes smaller to a chip it's pretty cool so here is me doing just a setup of the Kai Symphony Run. This is me numbering the plate and turning the machine on and logging into it. And those are what the samples go on. We put them in one by one. And these are the expensive reagents that we use. I'm almost pretty sure it's going to be very hard for you guys to hear me over the biological hoods because we got two running right now. But it's a pretty basic job. When I come in, I do temp logs. I check the mail. Usually I get an email um, when I get the samples in the mail and I number them, put them in the fridge, and then I put their um, information into our database. It's like a regular DNA swab like this. It has like, this one is unopened. This is the swab. This is the little bit it goes in. You have to swab your cheeks. You get about like, we get like about 10 of these a day. On Mondays, we usually get a lot because um, mail is always backed up on the weekends. It's the chip that, um, of the DNA from like 40, of like about 40 samples going on. So it's pretty cool to see like the fact that it goes from a bunch of samples in a box to a small source plate to a small chip that could be put into a machine and then it sends information to the computer and then Dr. Jason reads the information and he tells patients if they are more susceptible to uh, having this gene, if they have this gene for cancer. I'm gonna wait on the mail. I'm gonna wait on the mail. Then we're gonna get the process started. Two hours later. Do y'all remember when I said that we usually get about 10 specimens a day? This is what we have today. A whole freaking mailbox worth, I mean not, whatever this freaking, this mail bin worth the papers, just big stacks of papers. More papers, 20 specimens I have to put in by myself today. For a brief wrap up of what I do to accession samples, I usually just open the box and make sure the dates of birth match and the names and stuff like that and make sure that we have all the information that we need and also to make sure that the quality of the specimens are good enough to be ran in the Kaya Symphony machines. This is a plus. Okay. This is what I got in there today. So I took all the samples and put them to the left and you see the Kaya Symphony machine picking up the reagents which are basically magnifying beads that help amplify the DNA and it mixes it with the specimen food. So the main purpose of the machine is to amplify DNA and also condense all of the multiple samples that we have into one plate. Today is 
July 10th. If you remember at the beginning of the video, I was recording June 22nd. So I apologize for my inconsistency and my laziness. But, you know, I'm gonna get this video out to you guys. So when you finally see it, finally see it, be like, girl, why you like this? I'm gonna be like, I don't know. I'm pretty much done for the day to go strip off some specimens and then I will be on my way for the weekend. And I thank you guys for watching my YouTube videos. Um, I will try to be more consistent. If you have any suggestions, just go ahead, comment below, and anything that you want to see on the channel. I got you, I got you, I got you. You know what you need to do. You need to subscribe, and then you need to put on the post notifications. Okay, you heard me? All right, don't forget. I will see you guys in my next video.